Hi good morning everyone let's get started with our next topic for this training which is on stack file generation using solution manager so basically what is a stack file why we need it for an upgrade and what is the role played by solution manager so in this training we'll be covering all these major items regarding the stack file so basically the stack file generation is done in a solution manager and the way the solution manager works for upgrade is you define the system in smsy basically smsy is a system landscape so once the system is defined in system landscape you make sure that it's getting reflected properly in lmdb in solution manager 7.1 onward lmdb is one of the key component basically all the system related information is kept in lmdb and whatever data is defined in your satellite system basically the system which you are trying to upgrade so that particular system will be sending or pushing the data automatically using the tools into solution manager so how the data is pushed into solution manager we'll be seeing that okay to get started let's get into a transaction called solman underscore work center so in this particular transaction what we are, will be seeing is there are different work centers which are available in solution manager work center is basically a kind of uh, environment where you can perform activity related to that particular work center say for example change management anything related with change is performed here so in change management you can see there is it i can called maintenance optimizer so this is basically a maintenance optimizer and what we are trying to do here is we are trying to create a new maintenance transaction so we'll just click on the new maintenance transaction okay so once we click on the new maintenance transaction there will be a window which will pop up and in that window we can select our system which we want to upgrade okay so right now what is happening is it is opening that particular window it's basically defined in sicf sicf is actually a place where all the services are defined the icf the icm based services are defined in solution manager so here you can see this is the maintenance optimizer transaction so what i'll do is i'll select the existing version so basically the existing product version is selected and it will show me the information about the different product versions which are available in the solution manager okay so here we can select the system which we want to upgrade so basically it shows the list of all the product systems having that particular product version so click on continue what it will do is it will go through the different task list basically it will ask a couple of questions so in this screen here basically we need to select calculate file automatically so this will calculate the file automatically for the target product version that we want to upgrade it to so we have selected the calculate file automatically version and if i go to the systems you will see which system is in scope so this is basically a system which i i am trying to upgrade okay so now let me click on continue okay on clicking on continue it will show me the update options so basically what it will show it will tell me the information about these are the different versions which are available and these are the ones to which i can upgrade it to so that's what it is trying to calculate this process takes little bit of time because it gets into an analyzing the system okay so here we can see we can do a maintenance we can do an ehp installation or we can upgrade it so depending on our requirement we can select what we want to do here so our objective is upgrade so let's select the upgrade task so basically once we select the upgrade it will show me the different things what can be done in the upgrade so basically here you can see that these are the different product versions to which it can be uh upgraded to so basically in this particular transaction we have selected a version 
Okay, so it is flexible what you want to do accordingly things will happen so here you can see that source initial constellation is the current system target constellation is basically the version that we are want to go to for upgrade the process is the same for uh, the patch application that is maintenance the process is the same okay so for each of these the process remains the same okay so now it is showing me that okay confirm this we are going to this particular stack level so depending on what we are trying to do the process of updating process of upgrading process of enhancement pack upgrade the stack file generation process remains the same okay so the here i am trying to show you the stack file generation process so now on this screen you can see what can be done basically it is giving the information about selection of osdb dependent file depending on our os our database we can select the respective file so in my case it's a windows os which is 64 bit and the database is oracle so i will select the igs file i will select the the file which is above that is also the igs file and i will go to a database which in this case it is oracle database here you can see that multiple kernel versions which is available i will select the respective kernel version that i need okay so i have selected the respective kernel version in this you can see one is unicode another is uh, it's basically it is telling you that which type of kernel you want to select so database specific kernel i am selecting so next thing is i will here you can see that the database independent kernel is automatically selected okay so that's how we need to make sure that we are selecting the igs files we are selecting the database dependent file under oracle and the respective database independent file will be automatically selected same thing applies for any other database version or any other os version whether it is mysql database whether it is any other database okay in this particular screen it says that you can add or in include or exclude files from your download basket as well so apart from things which will get auto automatically added you can add or remove those things also from your download basket now this these are basically the stack dependent files okay you can see that these are the files which will be automatically selected for you so we can review and here you can see do you want to add say for example if it is java system it will ask can you do you want to add the java stack patches as well or not so basically the patches as well can be added apart from the the version of the uh, the software that we want to apply so here you can see that these are the products for which the patches are released so we have an option to add them as well so that's how actually we can add the patches here you can see that i am showing a stack generation process for a particular or particular version and this actually is a java version but all the patch stack file generation remains the same whether we select a java version ehp version 7.3 to 7.31 or 7.0 to 7.3 3 or 7.0 to 7.3 ehp1 the stack file generation process remains the same so here actually my objective is to show you how exactly the stack file generation process is done okay now these are automatically selected i can deselect any of them but it is recommended not to deselect anything and just click on continue now it is basically running and it will give me an option that shall i include these files shall i put these files in into your download basket so i'll just click on continue and what will happen is that it will put all those files all the download files into the download basket 
so it is basically running right now and it will give me the option that okay these are the things which have been added into your download basket so whatever we have added till now that is right from the kernel right from the uh, the stack dependent files the these things which we have selected so far all these files required for either depending on what we are trying to do whether an upgrade or any activity that we are want to perform will be automatically added so here you can see that the stack stack file name is it will be added in the eps in folder of the solution manager that you are running okay so you have an option to download that particular xml file okay for an upgrade we need the down, uh, stack file so just make sure that you download that particular stack file so the stack file will tell that what you want to do whether you want to upgrade whether you want to apply a service pack whether you want to apply an enhancement pack all that can be done using the information which is present in the stack file so stack file what it contains is that it will contain the information about your actual stack present in the system actual software components which are present in the system version of each and every software component which is present in the system and based on the target level it will tell that from the source system source level to a target package level what is the additional softwares that need to be downloaded and in, and need to be available for the upgrade or the migration or the uh, the patch application or enhancement patch application or update process okay so that is ba basically how exactly the stack file generation process works so we have seen that how we can use this process to download a stack file that's what i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye